a lot of videos out there on chakras and they get very detailed which is really good and I think if you get a chance to uh, research some of those videos I'm just gonna go briefly about them but the reason why is because I wanted to share something with you guys where a lot of times people when they talk about intuition and psychic ability they're all about the third eye oh is my third eye open how do I open my third eye I have to do a meditation for my third eye but one thing that they don't realize is that it's not just about the third eye all the chakras need to be open in order to be intuitive because there's a balance in your body that the energy has to be able to flow through in order for you to pick up messages and to pick up messages on different levels. So the third eye, it is important to open the third eye, but people are forgetting that. Um, but it's also important to open the other chakras as well. So for example, like the root chakra, the root chakra is for grounding and stability. But when you think about it, if we're not grounded when we do a reading, we're like all over the place. It's almost like a live wire, a live electrical wire without any grounding. So when you channel in information and you're tapping into a higher frequency and you're picking up all these messages and you're not grounded, the wire is like moving like this. And so what happens is you start getting messages from all different things, but you don't know how to put it together. So it'll be like, oh, I see a dog. Oh, wait, I see you cooking. Wait, I get this now, but I don't know why I see you crying or you're sad. But, you know, it'll make sense, you know. And then what happens is it's um, you're not grounded. The energy is not grounding that energy frequency through your body. When we're doing a reading, we're channeling in this energy in our body, this higher frequency that we're translating. So if, if we really think about it, we have to be grounded so that we can actually anchor this energy. And when we anchor this energy, then we can focus more and understand more where these different energies are coming from. So it is important to open the root chakra. The root chakra is associated with stability, foundation, and discipline as well, but it is also good for psychic ability. Also, the sacral chakra is also good for psychic ability because it has to do with relationships with people and others. And when you have an understanding of that energy between your friends and your family, then you, that's when your heart opens up. So there's like a connection there. The solar plex chakra is more to do with the gut feeling. So even if you have this psychic ability that you're tapping into with your third eye, you need that solar plex energy so that you also can go on gut instinct and trust. And again, it's connected to your heart so you can trust what you feel, but you need both. And so the solar plex energy is almost like that animal instinct or how animals communicate with each other. They have these feelers around them where they just kind of know. And then the next chakra, the heart chakra, also has to do with intuition, actually a really big part of it. Because when your heart is open, you have this unconditional love, but also this understanding on why a person is going through something and then you can tap in even more to what is really going on with the person versus what they claim is going on it's a different type of wisdom but a lot of times we close our heart chakra especially if we were hurt before and we don't want to get hurt again we don't even know that we're closing it sometimes but it's closed and you can tell because we're not feeling comfortable around certain people or um, we don't feel open enough to the people around us or we judge ourselves or others. The throat chakra has to be open so that when you channel this information or when you're doing the card reading or any kind of reading for that matter, you're not filtering out the energy too much. Because sometimes when you filter out the energy, you're trying to think of how you're going to say it. And when you try to think of how you're going to say something, um, it doesn't become authentic anymore. And sometimes you can mix it with opinion versus what you pick up. So a lot of times, if you notice, a lot of these mediums, they speak fast because they want to make sure that they're just going to say what, whatever comes to them so that they're not filtering it and they're not putting in their own opinions. But the throat chakra has to be open so you can immediately say, this is what I feel. I know sometimes when I teach classes, I'll say, okay, let's look at the cards and we'll be staring at the card for like so long 
trying to figure out what we're getting that we're actually using our mind versus just saying what we what we get right away and that's the part where the throat chakra shouldn't be blocked and as for the third eye of course it is definitely a part of intuition and we do have to make sure that it can stay open to do the reading that's when we can pick up more things and we can connect with somebody and that connection is very very important but when we do energy readings, it's also a good way to connect to someone, to lock in that energy connection when you do the reading. And that's probably something I will show in one of my psychic videos that I will have on my website. So I'll show how you can connect psychically with the card and pick up more information than just what the card seems to be or what the meaning of the card is. And then of course there's a the crown chakra. The crown chakra has to be open so you can channel. So your mind has to be clear. You have to be an empty vessel so you can pick up the messages. I do have videos that I'm making and you can check out my website below. It'll show different meditations that you can do to work on each chakra. The meditations involve clinical hypnotherapy, guided meditation, and, and a little bit of a merge with Buddhism. Uh, so what I do is I combine a lot of techniques together in each meditation. But for now, I do want to give you something that you can work on that will help you also open the chakras. So for one, the root chakra is connected to grounding, stability, and environment. So create a sacred space for yourself and um, also think of the things in your life that you feel you lost stability in and foundation in or the conditioned mind of what your family has taught you to believe in versus what you want to believe in. So those are some of the things to do with the root chakra. You can do grounding exercises um, to also help you ground like Tai Chi or um, Qi Kun um, or even martial arts. Uh, there's also for the sacral chakra, which would be more the um, to do with relationship and healing of your past relationships where you can journal and you can write down the different things you went through and the emotions that you went through and how you would like to heal from these things. So these is like uh, basic steps that will prep you for the meditation courses or for opening and understanding the chakras. Anything to do with the root chakra would be like the leg, the feet, the toes, grounding energy. You know it's not balanced if you start tripping or falling or you get into an accident um, because it's showing you that, hey, you got to keep one foot in this world. And even if you're going into La La Land or into another realm, you want to make sure you know that you're also here. So if you do get start tripping on things or um, get into accidents or dropping things a lot, it's your guide's way of saying, hey, I got to take a look at this root chakra. I got to figure out why I'm not stable. What in my life is keeping me from being balanced and strong? The sacral chakra would probably be like to do with um, sex and relationships and friendships. And you might want to take a look at reflections. W what triggers you? Why are these people saying certain things that trigger you, that upset you, that are not making you feel well? And also p the past of things you need to heal from, maybe even sexually or even in relationships. The solar plex chakra is going with your gut instinct. So a lot of times when we were hurt in our past, we feel like our gut instinct has failed us. So we tend to close it and say, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna go with that anymore. I'm not gonna trust in that anymore. So it's finding trust in yourself again. So you have to take baby steps to make choices on your own to try and trust yourself more. The solar plex chakra is also connected to the different organs in your body. So you know that if there's an imbalance in the different organs in your body, that there's something to do with your solar plex chakra as well. The heart chakra, if it's closed, it's usually to do with compassion and understanding for yourself and others. So a lot of times we think people are judging us, but at the same time we are judging them. So we also have to look at how we see things and what beliefs we push on others and also what people expect from us and we expect from others. But when in reality, if we have no expectations, then we wouldn't really have a problem, <laughs> but easier said than done, right? So we can take a look at that and see the different causes of pain and emotion that we held onto and kind of 
understand and be aware of it for this time and uh, maybe even learn how to let them go or understand a different way on how we can let them go. We are all our own person and we know ourselves best. So sometimes the best answers come from within. The throat chakra, if you feel like it's blocked, we're not flowing when we speak, we're very hesitant when we're doing our readings or when we're talking to people, we try to filter out what we say or we clamp up and we don't talk much when we socialize because we're worried about what people are thinking. So the throat and the heart can also be connected in that way that we don't want to engage in conversation because we don't want to get hurt and we're also judging ourselves and we think others are judging us. So we clamp up on the throat chakra Chakra. So some things that we can do for the throat chakra would be to sing, to even do freestyle rap, to um, to just chant vowels, you know, it doesn't need to be any intention, just to keep this part flowing. And try just talking and rambling, that also helps opening the throat chakra as well. Anything to do with this part of the body is also connected to throat chakra, so probably the throat, thyroids, um, if you have a sore throat, losing your voice, that kind of thing, all connected to throat chakra. Self-expression, not being able to express yourself. Then the third eye, um, the third eye is, they say, is like um, imbalance if it's denial and, and you're delusional. So if there's something you don't want to see and you end up just not going and you um, don't want to confront a situation and you just kind of push to the side and you don't want any try to avoid it so that's also to do with the third eye as well when you see um, what your what the obstacles that you're creating for yourself then you're more in balance because it's really about us and not the other person so when we feel that we're going through a cycle of something and we keep repeating the same mistakes over there's something that we're not seeing so that's also a blockage of the third eye and of course if you're having a hard time doing readings but it's mainly more to do with that and um, to unblock the third eye part of it would be to meditate on it to try and figure out why you're in denial what's causing this why why is it that you don't want to see this what is your fears of being aware of seeing this and just kind of write things down and, and jot it down um, again, like I said, I do have meditations for each one of these things, but to be honest, to put a meditation on a YouTube channel and to really go into it, it's going to be a, a kind of long and a lot of people don't want to sit through things. So if, as long as it's a video, um, you can look at it at your own time later and when you have the time to sit through and really watch it. So there's a lot of work involved, so when you watch these videos, you do have to be disciplined to do it more than once. Don't just do one time and say, okay, I'm done with the root chakra, next chakra. You know, you want to continue over and over with one chakra. Maybe for that whole month, just focus on that one chakra. And you'll dig up things from your past and things that you feel need to be healed. And then now for the crown chakra, what I um, feel like if you get headaches or migraines or you're thinking too much or you have fixated thoughts a lot of times that means your crown chakra is closed because you're having so much thoughts in your head at once that it's not clear and it's not allowing you to pick up any kind of knowledge or information so to do that a lot of times would be to do meditation yeah and then the crown chakra when it is open you get more ideas you pick up ideas you're a problem solver you solve things so much easier um you don't you, you really trust in yourself where your ideas you know will work or will not work for you um and then when you combine it with your third eye it's like you can see things and pick up these ideas and you know how everything's going to pan out how the synchronicity of things are going to work and that's how you know the combination is good but to become this empty vessel we have to make sure all of our chakras are open so again it's not just about the third eye and then when we to make sure all of our chakras are open we go through this journey of layers and layers of understanding every single chakra what it stands for and why it's not open and when we go through this journey to figure out why each chakra is not open or balanced we learn more about ourselves so besides telling you that it's not just about the third eye it's about all the chakras to be psychic that's when self-awareness comes into play 
And I hope you like this video and if you do, please like it and give it a thumbs up. And when you're ready, check out my website and please subscribe. I'm currently working on the meditations as we speak, so it might not be there yet, but it will be there soon. So thank you and have an awesome day.